All right, well, I'm going to do an open box. I already opened it, actually. And uh, this is a K&N cleaning kit. See the nice way it was handled. Thanks, UPS. Nice and damaged. But the contents inside look to be okay. At least we'll see. So, yeah, this is for... Uh, this is a cleaning kit for my air filter, my K&N uh, air filter that I have on my Dodge truck. So I went ahead and ordered this, and uh, I'll check to see what's inside. Two items, your Power Clean air filter cleaner, and uh, the air filter oil, so that gets put on after it's been cleaned. And it comes with the instructions, which is good because I have not cleaned mine yet. And I'll make sure I do it right before I get started. So, let's see. Yeah. Apply cleaner, rinse filter, dry filter, oil filter. So, it'll show you the spray, how to spray it on, and all that. So... Yeah, we'll uh, go into detail out at my truck as I take the filter off. All right, well, let's go out to my big dirty Dodge and we'll take the filter off. All right. There we go. So now let's get this thing off. I can reach it. All right, wing nuts off, and I got my little spacer. All right. And yeah, this is this little mod is not easy to get on and off. There it is. No space. And of course the bent rod. Slide that out of the way. There you go. So yeah, this thing is really dirty. All right, well, I'll take it inside and uh, we'll apply the cleaning solution to it. Okay, normally you'd do something like this outside, but uh, yeah, this is kind of the redneck way. I'll clean this up once I'm done. So, per the instructions, this is what we'll be using first. Break out the instructions here. All right, apply cleaner. Liberally spray K&N air filter cleaner or K&N power clean on both sides of the filter and allow to soak for 10 minutes and loosen the dirt. Okay, and then everything is in Spanish and French it looks like. So that's what we'll do. So Get it down close, it's gonna waste a whole lot. All right, and then we'll rotate it. And I have no idea what's in the solution, just out of curiosity. Case of eye contact, how to treat it. Yep, it doesn't say what's in it, so. Okay. Okay, I think we're about at the end there. Almost smells like degreaser. That's what it smells like now that I'm getting a whiff of it. So, all right, now get the outer edge here. Bump 
and then the, yeah, this sprayer. Tough to spray. Fingers get tired. And I think we're getting close to the end. Yep, I think this is it right here. Okay, so now that's done. Let's see what the instructions say next. Rinse filter. Rinse off the filter with cool, low pressure water uh, from the clean side out in order to flush the dirt. So basically, that'd be from the inside, the inner portion going outward so it doesn't soak any more dirt in. <clears throat> Continue to rinse until the filter, until all traces of dirt are gone. May be necessary to repeat steps one and two. Well, it's quite possible, so let's give a try here. Yeah, looking pretty, pretty nasty. And of course, it doesn't say you let it sit for a certain length of time, so... Yeah, the wife's not here, so... <laughs> I'm sure she wouldn't appreciate this, but like I said, I'll clean it up later. All right, let me continue cleaning this and come back and uh, get ready to reassemble. Okay, so I pretty much got it about as clean as I'm going to get it. It still doesn't look a whole lot better, but I did get a lot of crap out of it. <clears throat> I do know that, so... We'll just go ahead and take it back outside and shake it. Alright. Lovely. Alright, well, you get in the sunlight. It's got a little bit of cleanliness back to it. Now it says let it air dry naturally. So then, yeah, that's what we'll do. We'll go ahead and uh, Actually, I'll just put it right back on on the truck. All the water's pretty much out of it. Now, on second thought, I'll just let it here because i got to put oil on it. Almost forgot about that. <laughs> there you go. Let's put it on the underside of the lid. And we'll let it dry. There we go. And then clean up my mess while I'm waiting on the filter to dry. So I have no problems with the wave. There we go, got the filter in the sun. That'll help dry quicker. And then we'll be ready to put the oil on, which is dry chill. Well, we're starting to look pretty dry here. It's going on an hour. Just in time, too, because it looks like rain might be moving in. Well, we'll get ready to start putting some oil on here in just a bit. All right, so for the oil, You've got squeeze oil and aerosol oil. Well, I've got the aerosol can, so spray the can in air filter oil evenly along the crown of each filter pleat holding nozzle about three inches away. Well, it's going to be a little difficult as it's kind of breezy out here, but I'll give it a shot. I'm going to try to do this while filming. It's starting to get its red tinge back. A little too much there. Whoops. I 
Let me turn it around here. Get the back side on some parts. There, that looks good. So now, let's see if we can get the filter back on. There we go. Something like that. There, looks good. So now, move that little, yeah, that little threaded rod back in place. Yeah, almost centered. All right, and before I put the lid on, I'm going to go ahead and clean this up a little bit. Then I'll put it back on. Okay. Yeah, kind of clean up a little bit. Looks like it's got some wear spots on it from how tight it is. So. Let me finish cleaning this here. All right, well, I guess about as good as I'm going to get it. So now I'm ready to put it back on. Alright, a little finagling, got it back on. Don't look too bad. I'll get my little nut spacer and wing nut and wrap this up. Alright, there you go, it's on. Looks good. So, yep, a little quick preventative maintenance for uh, KM uh, air filter. I imagine it's probably the same for a Felpro. But uh, yeah, that's the kit. The kit number, for those curious, 99-5000. And uh, yeah, this filter setup, I did the mod on my 99 Dodge Ram 1500 with a 5.9 liter. All right, that looks straight. So there you go. Whew, fun times. Hope that helps you and uh, thanks for watching.